what would you say to someone who's on the fence about yoga? I would say go to a class and try it. Just one class? Yeah, try one class and see what you think. Although now I feel like I should edit that because I have some friends who are a few doors down from here who told me about their yoga experience and they didn't enjoy it because they're both male, so we'll preface it with that, but yeah. they um, got a private lesson from someone and I don't know who or from where, but... Um, so, to be clear, not necessarily from the yoga studio nearby. No. They not went, the their bad studio. experience was elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's not nearby, which I haven't visited them yet. I'd like to go check okay. out. At, at Harvest? Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, they had someone come in and they did a private lesson and they were like, we got to the end of class and then we just laid there for forever. And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, I opened my eyes and checked the time we laid there for like, well over 10 minutes. That's impressive. And is that I, typical? No. What's no. typical for the finish? I mean, position? five minutes, five to eight like minutes, like tops. Okay. And eight minutes, I would say, would be like really pushing it. You'll find most people can't sit still that long. So no. the goal is. I can't sit still this yeah, long here. No, I know. Did you not I'm see me play yeah. like that the entire time I've been sitting here? So yeah, you'll see people and they'll relax for like the first. Like the first minute is like adjustments. So everybody's kind of like moving yeah. around, trying to figure out how they're comfortable. And then they'll chill for maybe two minutes and then people start, start losing moving, it. fingers move, someone will cough. And, and yeah. it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so people will start to like come out of it. But the ultimate goal is that you can, um, like when you start uh, like a meditative practice, you start with one minute. Okay. So you, if I can sit for one minute and meditate over a course of time, then I'll bump it to two minutes. Oh, so you do like linear progression on it. With meditation. Yeah. But it's kind of like if you take that and apply it to Shavasana at the end of class, most people are not going to be able to lay there and not have their brain on fire by the end of five minutes. Yeah. So you have to, to preface make, that. Like you'd have to know the person beforehand to know yeah. we're going to do 10 minutes of this because we're yeah. all at that level. Yeah. And so to have someone sit through like 10 minutes of Shavasana was probably like torture for them, which yeah. is how they made it sound. And he was like, I, it was horrible. And I never want to do that again. So I would say, you know, maybe two classes at two different places. <laughs> but I, there's not going to always be, it's like with anything, you're going to have yoga teachers that you really love. You're going to experience yoga teachers you don't really like. You may go to a class and they play music that you absolutely can't stand. Yeah. You're not going to want to go back to that. And you know, you may go to a class and they're going to use um, some kind of verbiage that isn't doesn't work yeah. for you. Maybe it's too spiritual, or maybe yeah. it's not spiritual enough. Or... Yeah, or you know, some people will say something that like you don't like. It triggers yeah. something for you that you don't you don't like going back there. So it's kind of finding your fit. Um, well, that's and, true. I think that's true of anything as well. Yeah. Just a culture. Yeah. Of certain areas that you, of certain, um, there's a there's a culture that you do like for mm -hmm. an activity, and there's a culture you're probably not going to like, and you have to kind of right. that out and figure it out. Yeah. So you know, kind of trying out different, maybe different types of yoga, and trying out different studios. Mm -hmm. But at least trying one class, yeah. starting with one class and saying there's, you know, absolutely nothing about this that I like, or these are the things I like about it, but I wasn't particularly enjoying this. And I think even having like an, like I, because I just got started teaching, mm -hmm. I try and have like a really open line of communication with the people who come into my class. Is there anything about my class you didn't like? Is right. Was there something that um, you thought would make the class better? Um, and being open and honest about the environment, like the environment I'm currently teaching in sometimes has, you know, things that come up. So I'll say to people, you know, sorry, there may this be happens. an interruption. Sometimes yeah. that happens. So just, you know, be aware. But Well, part of that too <laughs> comes along with doing a little bit of research. So if you know you're the kind of person who maybe wants a more fa fast paced yoga, yeah. like more on the end of Pilates, which yeah. I, I don't know if that's disparaging to you or not. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a little more fast paced, a little more exercise oriented. Yeah. You should kind of know 
what type of yoga you're getting into yeah. beforehand, and that would increase the likelihood that you'll enjoy it. Yes, yeah. So mine is um, a little slower paced, but not so much so that you're sitting in the same pose for a really long time. Most of the poses that we do are held for like a maximum of five to eight breaths. Oh, okay. Before you move So on. it's pretty so fast paced in terms of Yeah, relatively fast paced. Um, but like if you do uh, like hot yoga, which I like, uh, it's a really heated room, um, but that's more of a fast paced yoga and the, the poses are, it's more of like a moderate to hard mm. style of yoga. So the poses are challenging and it's also fast paced. Yeah. Okay. You're kind of it's not. It's also fucking hot. Yeah, and you're sweating to death. 